This is our bacteria overview figure, and in this video, we'll be discussing Yersinia pestis and Yersinia enterocolitica, which you can see right here. This scene takes place back during the Middle Ages when the infamous bubonic plague killed millions of people. Our first character to the scene is this guy who's come to help those in need. As you can see, he's holding a big bowl of yerba mate tea, which he intends to give to the sick. Yerba sounds like Yersinia, so the bowl of yerba mate tea will be our symbol for Yersinia pestis. Now notice that we've shown a do not enter sign on the door. This is pretty thoughtful considering that the people inside are deathly ill and don't want to spread the disease. The do not enter sign sounds like enterocolitica and is here to help you remember Yersinia enterocolitica. I know, we've used an enter sign to represent enterococcus. However, just think of the sick people in this scene with the do not enter sign for Yersinia enterocolitica. Also, the guy holding the yerba mate tea should help you think of Yersinia. So hopefully this will help you keep things straight in your mind. Before we go any further, Pay attention to the background. And that's right, we've intentionally included a pink sunset, which is to help you remember that both of these organisms are gram-negative. This is a gram stain of Yersinia enterocolitica. However, Yersinia pestis would have a very similar morphology under the microscope. Notice that the organisms are pink and rod-shaped, hence the gram-negative bacilli classification. Okay, notice that we've also shown several sacks of yerba mate stuff next to the doctor guy. The sack is completely surrounding the yerba mate stuff, just like the capsule of Yersinia surrounds and protects the organism from phagocytosis. So remember, Yersinia pestis is encapsulated. You should remember that this information is specific to Yersinia pestis because it's in close proximity to the yerba mate tea. Everything next to the do not enter sign will be specific to Yersinia enterocolitica. Next, notice that we've shown a red canopy covering the entire alleyway. This is similar to the pavilion we've shown in other images. It's outdoors, but provides some covering. So. It's like the person is inside of a home, yet outside at the same time. Just like this organism can exist inside or outside of the host cell. So the canopy covering is here to help you remember that Yersinia pestis and Yersinia enterocolitica are facultative intracellular.